Hey guys, welcome to GTA 5. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? My air conditioner just got fixed. Replaced. We had we replaced the whole thing. Um, how long were we without AC? I think like a week or something. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. But anyways, uh, it's good to see you guys. I hope you guys are ready for an exciting episode today. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just know that it's going to be exciting. I mean, we're getting ready to do the big one. It's pretty much the last thing that happened. So we, we were talking about doing... Well, Trevor saved Michael and then... Yeah, they're going to do the big one. The big one. So we have a mission, I think, just on Franklin. Only on Franklin. But we do have a little session with our with our guy here so we'll go ahead and do that real quick little therapy session well michael i see you're back around and making time for your mental health yeah i don't know why i came hmm. i don't know why you came either <laughs> what do you want michael i don't know just i just want I want something that isn't this. You know, this caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad, love my family, you know, live the dream. But at the same time, I really want the other stuff too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Pal. <laughs> so, pal. Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. <sighs> Where are we now? That's actually uh, legit advice, I think. It's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB... They want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof. So maybe things are okay. Mm hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out friend? Tell me. Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Some of this sounds very familiar. Like the first part, obviously not, but this Michael. part feels very familiar. Let's accept the advice. I think last time I rejected it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I want to be good, Doc. I really do. But then I get angry. Oh, I didn't push anything. Mm. Anything else? Anything sexual? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones. The last few days... What was that? A lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is... progress of a sort. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. And that's all I the time we have. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. What? You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It just... I think you need a new therapist. And... I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> Think of the fucking tale. All those fucking what? bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. What the hell you, is happening? Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. 
And he took a picture with us. What? My lawyer says you can't prove defamation. Take him out or let him go. Taking him out. I'm sorry. This is not the same as like uh, Beverly. No, this is <laughs> this guy. I do not like this guy. I never did. Oh, he made a mistake. Pubehead! Now, that's how you work through an issue. Got him. So you're gonna drive into me? That was cr this guy. Oh my god. Crazy. What a what a joke. What an absolute joke. Oh, Dave's calling. Great, just what I need. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve the yeah, Joker. Yeah, he's got role, some issues, but... But not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. How do we get off this damn freeway? Man. <laughs> I, just, I still can't get over we killed our, our therapist. Uh, looks like... Looks like good old Davey wants to take out Trevor once and for all. Okay, well, you know what? I'm switching characters anyway, so it doesn't matter that I have no idea where the hell I am or where I'm going. Let's go ahead and over to Franklin here. Hey, holla at me, y'all. Peace. Oh, Franklin, I got things to do and I can't be having you drunk off your ass right now. Okay. Franklin. Let's go. What are these car is doing just asking me to steal them I mean since you asked so nicely oh sorry I kind of left that in the road I kind of want to see someone else run over it, but I think it's going to take too long. but that's okay. GPS reroutes me. Hey, you got off lucky, homie. I would have made it if you weren't there in my way, you stupid car. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there.
Wait, I still have this chick's car? I thought it got despawned! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Okay, we'll have to take that every time we're around here. We'll take that car. Lamar Down is what this mission's called. We have a telescope and everything. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? But it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My n Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. I like her whole outfit. Go to the sawmill, okay. And you know what car we taking? Yeah. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell him it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Is is Lester like the best character in this game? I like Lester a lot. This car isn't the fastest, but it's nice. Poppy, Poppy Mobile, Poppy something something. That was her name, Poppy. <laughs> I might lose the car after this mission. I don't know if it's gonna respawn back in the um in the garage, but we can use it for this mission and that'll be fun. Oh, dang. 
I did not expect it to slide like that if I went in the gravel. Oopsie. Messing up my poppy mobile. We'll put all these rocks out here. Oh! Damn! We're fucking up this car! <laughs> no! I don't even want to know what the front looks like. Although I kind of do. This is well lit. Let's see. There's just a little bit of blood. It'll buff out. It'll, it'll be fine. As long as the engine still works. We're good. Okay, it's getting a little bit dicey here. Oh, I was supposed to turn there. This is where the heck? Okay. We have to be careful up here. Where in the world are we going? Ooh, cool tunnel. Man, we are way the heck out here. Shit, shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so lucky that wasn't like it was a shortcut. So lucky that wasn't a steep cliff right there. I would have been gone. Hey, 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 why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? They both came. Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now, me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I say it, shut up. <laughs> I was like, I now don't I have time weed, for you clowns. Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he runs away from the fight, I run towards it. Screw it, let's improvise. Find Lamar. Well, how? Okay, I guess I gotta go this way. Trevor just runs right in. No preamble, no plan, just Frank, let's go. You found Lamar yet? No, dog, just more ballers. Ballers for life. Oh shit! Are you? Give us the mouthy one, and we'll be gone! I think Lamar was wearing black. It was hard to tell. Oh no, I can't get up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. We've leveled up your... Oh, shit. Any news? You found them? <laughs> shit. Any news? I leveled you up your stamina, them? dude. Okay, yeah, look, I'm I'm cool with changing characters because this is not working. Just guys it's wearing mold. He better not be dead, asshole! Out 
Come on. Oh shit. You got a friend of ours. Oh, my health is really not good. Oh my god. Oh hi, Trevor. Glad you could make it. Here, let me uh. Let me just. Switch. Oh god. Chamberlain gangster families for right, life, I'm coming. Oh god. Kids. There's someone behind, and I should probably take care of him. You're going down now. Lamar, where's he at? LD, where you at? I don't think I'm doing too great. I'm, I'm not feeling too confident here. Let's get through some grenades. Bring out Lamar. We'll go away. I'm coming. That thing better not blow up when I'm next to it. No more is Frank. Give us the mouthy one and we'll be gone. Where you got LD? You got a friend of ours. Franklin's doing all the work here. I'm sorry, Franklin. I'm trying. Sure about that? Where's Lamar at, kids? Fuck Sniper fire! Ah. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Oh. Take him down, Mike. I. Okay. That looks like Trevor. Here we go. Let me get this guy. Oh, I see. Can you guys give me a chance to do my job here? There's a couple more, but I can't see them. I think they're behind all this. I'm gonna switch characters. Lamar, where's he at? Did not kill him. Oh, maybe he did. Okay, we're almost there. I'm coming, homie. Hey, there's LD. Hey, Lamar, it's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. You're welcome. Yeah. Huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on. Really, guys, come on. No, I'm on. Shit. Hey, dudes all up on the wall. Holy shit. I don't know. Crazy dude here, too. Hey, Trevor. Quick! 
We good? Oh shoot. I will when I see them. Oh, I see him. Why don't they let me like move as Michael? Oh my god, come on. Come on! pink car see I knew this would happen where did we park where do we pull up I don't know Straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed, Alpha Tony. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. Awesome Neither have I. Shit. Stretch hit me up. Shit. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? 
Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been a uh, veteran yourself, sitting in that house on the hill looking down on the animals of South Central. Animals of South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my Because that's the way it looked to me. Ooh. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. I ain't helping? What the fuck you called it? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael True. and Trevor? Straight what up. to me and you fucking shit up? Four gangsters. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not what talk the hell? next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell yeah, me what's the going reason on for that? <laughs> hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Want me dead? Be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed. That's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, stress knew. Everybody knew stress knew. Tanisha knew stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? <laughs> that brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. <laughs> that shit was fun. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after the They only what are you send doing? like two of the little homies to get you. You didn't look like they was paying you no compliment. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. You think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, what? Man, Lamar just does not seem to be taking this seriously. He could be a little bit more grateful. Maybe I'm misunderstanding the dynamic here. So I guess. Damn! I look guess at this guy. <laughs> He's so you know, funny. It ain't no fun to be half fucking with the always. You feel me, my? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my. Uh, you know you.
Out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, man. That's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga. I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying? Leaving the street to the back, but... Damn, man. Uh, way to keep it down, man. I mean, thank you. <laughs> all ones? Paying oh, for five? all the work to put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give just enough money to get them a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dog. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Man, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving me in the backfield. You know what, my If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post reader like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who you think I am? Fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F. I thought we was homies, but that's some shit that just got past you, my you know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dawg. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever. I'm in the turf, if you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, player? Oh, Hello, Franklin. these guys? Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Mm -mm. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to uh, do it. No. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Oh, fuck. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it. Hey. Oh, flossing ass. Well. Okay. Hey, but we did it. Give me. What's up? F dog. So my dad's not like a complete asshole. I'm going to the premiere of his movie. Church, bro. Gotta meet him at Ponson Boys. Ponson Bees. So he can get a tux. The next stop's the red carpet. Hashtag swag. Cool. Um. Hmm. Well, Lamar is definitely a character. Hey, baby. Please, don't talk to me. I'm trying to talk to my peeps right now. Okay. Okay. Man, I, I lost my pink car, didn't I? Oh, well. We got to take it out for one last ride. Yo, my boy, I need to holler at you. For real. Um, yeah, hmm. I guess Lamar just feels really left behind and he just wants things to go back to the way they were. Franklin's trying to get out of it, but he's getting in like even, I mean, I don't know if it's worse, but he's getting into his own crap with the FIB guys that he got roped in uh, to by Michael. <sighs> oh man. And now they want him to kill Trevor. And obviously, Franklin doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to do that. Alright, what's Mr. Michael up to? Guess we gotta go. 
to his house, do a mission there. Let's go. They said Michael can't do it because Trevor won't let him near, but Michael gets near Trevor all the time. They're gonna go on a, do a big heist together. And you know what? Michael would probably do it. I mean, he pretty much agreed to it before, right? It was supposed to be Trevor in that grave, not Brad, right? Thank you. Hunts and bees. Oh, we're gonna get a tux, right? Gotta do our movie premiere? <laughs> change in change into your tuxedo. If you can't find your size, we'll order it. Suits is that Tuxedo? Or are these tux these look like tuxedos. Tuxedo. Guess it's all the same. I paid this guy to drive us. Get in the back. All right. Pinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie what producer's does he do? kid. Oh. Jimmy! <laughs> I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then. I'm going to sell my story and become really judgmental. <laughs> and I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer, too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Why does hey, a really bad it, feeling right like now? It. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to Is the someone I gonna to off the Jimmy right now? Jimmy, I really hope not. Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E. N. T. Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Devin. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, oh. I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. Are those fireworks? Oh, God. I'm really nervous. Pop, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. 
Oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up to the lake. Uh, of course they will. Where the fuck are you? And uh, have you ever uh, thought that maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! <laughs> Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards, Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project He's that would still be all perfect jacked up. for you. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, no, no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton. That looks Hi, like David Duchovny. Quick question. Kind, no, kind um, of. Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's get in there. Ah, oh, Laszlo! Oh shit, come on, shit dick! <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? <laughs> Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see? I was here, unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> what did you do you with her? Fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim. Come on! What did you do? What's happening? Where's mom? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. You got two minutes to sacrifice yourself for your family, dickhead. Oh my god. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? A and now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I no. didn't. It was an accident. I she would never do anything to put you in danger. She got sucked into a jet turbine. Shit. All right, okay. <laughs> it He'll was be an fine. honest mistake. This is just a movie guy, right? He he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's uh -huh. got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Probably not. Look at this car. Oh. They're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Oh, God. That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. Be careful, Dad. Where's Tracy? Daddy's home, you, you pricks. You. I'm seriously going <laughs> to... Oh, <laughs> she just died. I was coming to punch him. <laughs> wow, you gotta be quick with it. Are you doing? Uh, One of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. Uh, He's in there with our girl. Mom, Dad. Move. Oh, Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. You stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. They should have never come back. Oh, man. Clear the building! No one leaves! <laughs> oh, God, please. I gotta reload! Merryweather. Time to meet your maker! Are you happy now? Fire in the hole! Oh, my God. Not yet! Does it sound like you can come out? God damn! I'm dying. Neither do I. Just keep calm. All right, hold on. Let's re. Oh, you know what? I bet there's a heel in the kitchen, right? Oh god, there's there's 
There's something in the kitchen. It's not a heel. <laughs> back clear the building no one leaves fire in the hole not yet stay put clear neither do i just keep calm dw said the asset was I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. They're going to kill us, Dad! Come on! No one's gonna kill you. Daddy's got this. Help us, Daddy! You got my back. I need cover. Okay, stay now frosted. these guys. Get out of my kitchen! You fucking pussy! That did not go anywhere. Try again. That did not work either. Dang it. Aim is too high. We wanted to remodel anyways, right, Amanda? We were talking about that. Remodeling. The kitchen. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> I need cover now! Oh, jeez. My house is on fire. Oh my god, it's... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I need water. No. I'm dead. No, it's spreading. I didn't think it was gonna spread like real... Oh my god. Wait. What do I do? I'm dead. I can't get out of this. <laughs> realism in my video games not yet stay put I don't like neither do I just keep all right calm. I guess let's be serious now <laughs> we died like five times I'm fine trace you just stay down sweetie no one's gonna kill you daddy's got this. yeah we're not going to set the whole house on fire. But it might get a little bloody. There's more. Yay, I got my health pack. Oh shit, what? Ooh, it is storming out here.
It's it's safe. It is safe. Probably leave because everything's on fire. What the hell? Trace, Amanda, I think they're gone. Please don't tell me. <gasps> oh shit! Got you, you dick. Oh, uh, be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? What is going? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Who's it? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what the off hell? Me. Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy. <laughs> so you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Well, I think the family's moving back out after this fiasco. Ah, <sighs> yep, okay. Did not do too great on that one, but it was fun. <laughs> they came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Uh. Man. Everything is just falling apart. For everyone. It just, things just keep getting worse and worse. Look at how flooded it is from that storm. That's a nice detail. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, set up for our heist here next time, but that's all the time I have for today. <coughs> oh, man, they came after his family. That is just not cool. Not good. All right, I gotta get out of here. But thank you guys. Next episode is gonna be even wilder than this. I think we're maybe we'll we're either going to prepare for the heist or maybe we'll be able to prepare and do it i'm not sure this i mean it's the big one so there might be a lot of prep it might be kind of a long thing but we'll see how far we can get next time thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you guys when i see you bye bye